Hey everyone, it's Marla from Nerdy Mom Studios and I'm here to give you my review of She-Hulk episode 4. So far, I'm really liking it. It's not my favorite, but it is a fun show to watch. I'm excited to see how it ties into the MCU. So let's begin. The show starts off with a magician, Donnie Blaze, and Madison with two N's and one Y. She was a fun character. But anyways, Donnie ends up using one of those Doctor Strange portals and sends Madison to Wong. Wong then tries to sue Donnie for using the portals, but that gets thrown out because there's no American law that can stop him from using it. I really liked how we got to see the legal side of superheroes actions. I honestly don't mind if this series doesn't even tie into the MCU and then we just see a bunch of different cases each week. Anyways, next we see Jen trying to internet date. She goes on multiple dates and one stuck out because he asked her weird questions and one of them was if her skin was impenetrable, which if you remember last episode, she was attacked and they tried to take her blood but the needle broke. So maybe he's trying to find a weakness. Move forward to her date at home. Wong shows up during her date for help because Donnie was at it again, but this time the portal brought these monster bat looking things and Wong needed help. That was the most action so far and I really hope we will see some more soon. Fast forward to the next day and Jen gets served papers because Titania is suing her for her name She-Hulk because she beat her to the trademark. I do think she will be the main villain of the show since she's been mentioned almost every episode. So we'll see what's next. Next. The um, end credit scene was pretty funny, nothing major. It was Madison and Wong watching TV and we found out Wong's favorite drink was a gin and tonic and we got the famous name Wongers. That was super funny, I laughed out loud. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to see what's next. I wanna see what's going on with uh, Hulk. We last saw him in space, possibly going to Sakaar, which will lead to World War Hulk. And maybe we'll get more information this weekend about it um, at D23. Marvel is rumored to reveal a lot this weekend, and I'm really hoping for a Fantastic Four cast reveal. Rumors are John Krasinski, obviously, as Reed Richards, and then we also are um, hoping for Jodie Comer as the Invisible Girl. I really liked her. She was in Free Guy, and I think she's just a really good actress. Um, we also have one that the kids are really excited about. Um, this will be Ross Lynch as the Human Torch, and he's from Austin and Alley. He hasn't done anything huge, so this would be a big break for him. And I like that role for him. I think it fits him. Next is a little controversial, and it's Seth Rogen as the Thing. Now, I am okay with this since it will be CGI, but I do think he and John will work well together and bring comedy. It's rumored either... Seth Rogen or Jason Siegel. Um, either one I think would be pretty good since again it's going to be CGI. Last I'm most excited for is any Spider-Man 4 updates. Usually Sony reveals everything but since they've been working closer with Marvel they might be open to revealing it this year at this large event so I'm really hoping we get some news about that. Again thank you so much for the support and here's a message from the kids. Please like Please do a thumbs up and subscribe. Please do a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.